I don't really like to think before I speak. I find it more thrilling to be just as surprised as everyone else on what comes out of my mouth. For today's Dollar Tree haul, it is, I've grouped it into a spa, beauty, makeup, all new stuff as per usual. Um, if you guys don't know, Dollar Tree is an essential store. It's open, their online stores are back open. By the way, I saw them post on Instagram. And unfortunately, I've been on the hunt for <laughs> toilet paper and some other items that I can't seem to find. Um, but I, in my stores that I've been trying to find them, they've also been kind of sold out. But anyway, I digress. I don't want to talk about that whole situation. I just want to share with you guys what I found and I've just blown away truly. So um, I'm looking at it right now. So I'm just trying to decide what I want to share with you first. I'm going to go with this one. It is a blemish, blemish patches absorbs oil and residue and helps clear blemishes overnight while you sleep. So what's interesting about this is that I bought some from Amazon and you guys would have seen it if you watch all my videos back before Christmas because I got some for my daughter for like her stocking stuffer and she was telling me how much she loved it and then I found this at Dollar Tree and I was like wow I need definitely need to try it. Obviously it shows the picture of how you know the, how the patch helps heal it and all that. So I'm definitely gonna be testing this out. I do all of my Dollar Tree reviews on my Instagram. So you can head over there and even if you don't catch the Instagram story during the 24 hours that it rolls, I have a highlight on my Instagram page called DT Reviews. I put all of my reviews there so they'll just be up you know, indefinitely for you. I recently put up some, you have to go check them out because I talked about the silk pillowcase covers and body wash, etc. you know, yeah. So I'm getting around to doing a lot more reviews for you guys now. Then I had to get a new loofah and this one caught my eye. I've never seen a loofah in this form at Dollar Tree. It is a dual sided bath pad. And the other thing that I liked about it is that uh, it was encased like this you know right now they have the looses that are just like open anyone can grab and you know i just prefer the covered kind and i picked this green you can see that it's flat on the back and it will probably do a really good job of exfoliating you know scrubbing all that good stuff i mean that's what all freaking that and what am i even saying okay Next up is another bar of soap. I don't know if I have this one or not, but I thought the packaging was really beautiful. It is oatmeal and lemon and plant-based scented soap, sulfate, paraben-free, and it's vegan. So I've never, I don't think I've ever seen soap with those claims from Dollar Tree before. That's not to say that, that they haven't been there. I just noticing this one. In a previous haul, which I'll link down below because you have to check it out, I found a bunch of these Bolero products that were in packaging like this, but I couldn't quite remember if I have the Jelly Facial Balm. Listen, I probably do, but I wanted to go ahead and snag it just in case I don't, and I'll leave text here and let you guys know whether I do have it or not, um, but that video will be linked down below. So I found that. I found a new lip balm in this adorable packaging and it is a pineapple scent. The packaging is really interesting. I feel like they probably put more into that than maybe the product, but I'm gonna be testing this out on my uh, Instagram as well. And then I found some brand new satin eye masks. First of all, they caught me with the word satin because you have to go check out my satin pillowcase review. Um, I love the packaging, very nice, very, um, careful and I love the patterns. I think they're so beautiful and this one just gives me Golden Girls vibes and then you can see a good little blackout sesh. And then I found some more feet masks. I've actually tried these before but I don't think that I put them on my Instagram reviews so I'm gonna use these to put reviews up. But I have had really good success with the Dollar Tree foot masks. And so when I saw this new new one, I don't know if it's new or not, but the packaging looks different. But this is a hydrant and an exfoliant. So two totally different um, treatments for your feet. 
all a dollar folks in case you missed that part and then let's see what do i pick next here's another bar of soap it is a jasmine and orange blossom and what i found interesting is that it's bolero i don't think i've ever seen a bolero product at dollar tree in the you know good old fashioned bar soap packaging usually we see bolero products like this and you can see this is a whole line so i'll go ahead and dive into that now but we i found oh i got dupes on accident two facial serums and this is again that jasmine and orange blossom gives you the directions on the back it's really beautiful i'm also going to review this here is the eye cream i'm not sure if i'm a fan of jasmine i think i'm not um, i'm not a huge huge fan of the floral scent but i'm going to try it anyway and a paper mask a facial paper mask a facial cream and all of this, by the way, has the most beautiful spring colors, which will be beautiful in a gift basket. Here is the facial wipes. Um, Bolero always does the facial wipes. Here is also uh, shower steamers. I love the little shower steamers. They're not like, they. you don't overly smell them, and I can't compare it to any higher end shower steamers because I've never even seen shower steamers outside of Dollar Tree. But I, I still love the idea of throwing stuff like this into the shower. Here is a rose and coconut. So you can see that this is, we're still on jasmine and orange blossom, but they also have the rose and coconut one. And it's hard to tell, but I think they're just in the shape of circles. Just, they're just round circles. What am I, what am I saying? And body wash. This is a product, again, from Bolero that I've never seen, not body wash, <laughs> hand wash. I've never seen Bolero do that. So this is definitely a new thing that they've been um, selling at Dollar Tree. Here is that orange blossom. And then here is the rose and coconut. So, wow. They're definitely combining floral and then some type of fruity scent, which is an interesting... I don't know, it's just something I, they seem to be doing a lot. Here is another bath bomb. Well, no, these are bath bombs. While these were shower steamers, these you just throw into your shower and they just let the water, you know, do its thing. These are bath bombs that you would put into a bath rather than a shower. Um, and they are from Bath Treasures, so not Bolero. And I can definitely smell that rose. Oh yeah, I can definitely smell that coming through here. The next thing is this, and I'm very excited about this product. I cannot wait to try this one. It is a sugar-free body scrub. Sugar coffee. What? what is happening to me? It is a sugar coffee body scrub. So the thing that caught my attention was the word coffee. And I've seen like different videos on YouTube about coffee and how it can actually um, get rid of cellulite. And I also think I saw this on Dr. Oz, but like, don't quote me. So I'm really interested to try this out and see how well this works. I'll also review that. Um, the next couple of things are some LA colors and they put out some new makeup. Oh, da -da. Now what's interesting is that when you look at it, it has that look like you would gift this to your five-year-old who wants to do makeup, you know? Um, it just, right? But this is a blush, so I cannot wait. I think I'm gonna swatch these on my Instagram the day that this video goes out, so definitely go check that out if you want to see what they look like. This one is a highlighter. It's really interesting to put a purple and a gold, I don't know, I'm not a makeup person, so I just, okay, we'll see how that works. Here is an eyeshadow. Wonder what that looks like when you swirl it all together. And then here is another eyeshadow. And I only found the four in the collection, so if I'm missing one, let me know. And the last couple of things are bath salts, and the packaging is gorgeous, just alone. Um, look at this one, Himalayan pink salt and it looks like it's encased in a mason jar. What? And I love that it's a Himalayan pink salt. I'm very excited about this. 100% naturally pure. 
up to 84 plus minerals. That's really interesting. I honestly don't know anything about how all that chemistry works, so I, I don't know what what that does for us to have 84 plus minerals. So if you know, let me know. I'm probably gonna look this up. But um, I do know how good this stuff is actually for you and your muscles and relaxation and things like that. So I can't wait to try that out. And then these bath salts just blew me away, quite frankly. I think the packaging is so simple, yet perfection. And I only found the three. You have a chamomile, and I love that they even did the image. And this is by Spa Naturals, and you can see what's going on in there. Really beautiful. And then this one is Rose Petals. Gorgeous. Absolutely love this. And this is lavender. And then you can see how it was like folded over and then taped. That's just really beautiful. It just has that luxury look to the packaging. Um, you know, the kind of like beautiful spa stores you walk into a mall and it just, this is, this is what it just kind of looks like to me. It doesn't look like it came from Dollar Tree for a dollar. I'm also not entirely sure about this color green on me, but I went for it. I, have, I haven't worn this hat, I don't think, ever in a video. And if you're new to my channel, I love me some hats. And I typically will rotate and wear my favorites. However, I have like 15 other hats I've never worn on camera, so I'm trying to get them all um, in a video for you guys. And I was actually gifted this one for Christmas. It's really pretty, um, I just don't know. I don't know how I feel about the green, but who cares, no one asked. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time, bye.